<laughs> it's pretty gross, right? Because I don't know rocks or stones or anything. Look at this. Okay, because this, this was my first stop. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How much are these right here? <laughs> oh, the little tippy bags. Yeah. Look at that. Neat. This. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Wow. The store's like this. Um, and then the Baroque pearls as well, you know, they're not completely symmetrical, they're more it. natural. It's Saturday morning, and guess what we're doing? Garage sale! Mom, do I get sick? It's the porcelain collection. Mm. That's more, that's more on glass. I have a lot of wow. check, check, check it glass, yeah. glass. I've got Milano glass. I guess I'm Milano glass. Oh my goodness. Uh, these right here are Milano glass. Welcome! <laughs> <laughs> And over here, this was all parking lots. This is where we park our cars. Now it's and now it's more dorms. Wow. So, Cal Poly is definitely gotten a facelift since I went here 30 years ago. <laughs> well, those are the same. These buildings, these dorms here are the same. Okay. So we've been driving for about four hours. It took us four hours to do a three and a half hour drive because of traffic. Okay. But we're here, and this is just a stop along our way. We'll tell you guys where we're going just a little bit. But first, just going to do a little nostalgic uh, drive around the old college here. The old college campus. Um, a lot of brick. Back there, I think they bulldozed some buildings to put the new buildings in. I can't remember for sure. But somewhere around here is the bathroom. Like right back on the street here is the bathroom that Weird Al Yankovic uh, recorded his My Sharona song in the bathroom because it had great acoustics. Oh, the I old know. movie theater right here, Fremont. Theater. We've seen, alive. I've seen some movies there for sure. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this downtown. Is this not adorable? Oh, it's so charming. It's super cute. We can park and walk around. Sure, let's do it. All right, guys. So we've got the van, and Jen and I are headed out for three nights. Three. Three nights away for the kids. Our friend's daughter's getting married in Santa Barbara, which is very beautiful. So that is um, about a couple hours or an hour and a half or something south of here. We're stopped here for the night, or we'll stay close to here for the night, uh, <laughs> kind of a little past midway, and just have some fun on this town because um, it's a neat little town and I haven't been here since college, really. College days. Yeah. Wow, this is like the first corner right here that we came. This is exactly what we needed to find right here. I forgot my charger. Stunning. Wow. If I wasn't traveling, I'd buy a whole bunch. But I have nowhere to put them. It looks a little different. Okay. Yeah, guava, you can actually taste the fruit. Yeah, I love that. Thank you guys so much. It's great. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's so crowded. I love it. Beignets? Cowboy cookies over here. We just stumbled right upon one of the more famous uh, tourist stops here, which is also one of the more strange stops. College, of course. Oh my gosh. That is Gumball Alley. Some of these gumballs aren't looking so gumball. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty gross, right? It's funny. It's though. pretty gross. Yeah. <laughs> you think any of them are still good? You can try them? No. You want to try it? <laughs> Yikes. No, but oh look at that. They get creative with the artistic. Yeah. It looks like many of them are rotten because of all the rain. Okay, San Luis Obispo. This is a cute little bridge. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to come down the bridge here. This is nice here. Look at this. I think when I first came to college here, like when I first arrived, I came down here and I'm like, oh my goodness, this place is amazing. It's so Look how pretty cute. this is. 
wasn't running like that though. Look at that water going. Wow. We've had tons of rain lately, so that's gushing. Yeah. We just come up right up from the river and we land right on the mission right here. Isn't that pretty? Jana loves missions. Very historic part of California here. <laughs> I was a little into it. Look how beautiful the setting is around here. The trees, everything is so gorgeous. Right next to the mission, you get right out of the mission, and it bleeds right into downtown. This is why I love this town when I came to school here. Let's go! It is really pretty. I love their sign. The it is so cute. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, do it. You never buy yourself clothes. Mm -mm. Come on, honey. If you don't like it, your daughter will steal it. <laughs> she might steal it even if I do like <laughs> it. Should I try it on? Yeah. I wish this was open. Look at how cool it is. Look at this. You know, they repurpose all this stuff. I know. They're yeah. artists, builders, designers, and makers. Junk goals. Wow. Oh, that table's already sold. Fan. <laughs> they do art, lighting, jewelry, and furniture. That's pretty dang cool. Look at that adopter sign they have. Dang, I wish that was open. That was really cool. Do you see how cute these filming papers are? I'm scared to kill the babies. Is everyone proud of oh you? Yeah. Huh? We just oh, had a couple stop yes. lights there. Yes. Oh, yeah, we used to have gold. Oh, now okay. we're past what they were doing. Sorry. <laughs> He just gets big. Are they both? <laughs> wait, is a boy and a girl or a boy? Boy, girl. Oh, that's yeah. what I thought. Okay. Yeah. How old are they? Uh, they're yeah. two. Dang. He's like two and a half. I'm filming. Like I'm filming. Sorry, he thinks your camera's food. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. He thinks everything's food. They're honest. both really cute. <laughs> Thank you. They're beautiful. They're so cute. They're the sweetest dogs, huh? Yeah. yeah they really are. He looks awesome. like girls. Yeah, we love Goldens. Yeah. Have a nice night. You too. Well, Jana just went in. Now, now this one's going to cost me. All right, just got Jan a pair of $100 leggings. Um, but I must say, it, we're having a lot of fun. It, the weather's really nice. And um, when I went to school down here, I'd always walk down these areas and think, look at all these nice shops, but I didn't have any money because I was like 21 years old in college. So uh, I always thought, oh, I'll come back here when I'm older and have some money and have some fun shopping. And then here I am. So yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. All right, here's round one at the uh, restaurant we're at. Caesar with beet anchovies. Salad. There's a beet salad right there with berries. And it's very curious about that. But that's Spanish. Oh. Spanish anchovies. Yeah. Not just regular. Okay guys, we decided to split. We're being good. And this is, that's half. And there's the other half. What is this? Um, Colonies. Homemade Egg noodles and uh, beef or something. Pork. Beef. Pork ragu. There you go. So this is kind of sad right here. This store right here, Beverly's Fabrics and Crafts, is huge. See in here, it's like, it's actually, I think two stories. It goes way in there and you see there's a staircase over there. Well, that's uh, that store was here when I was going to college and they had, I mean, they had sewing and stuff, but they also had other stuff there too. And uh, me and my friend Jeff made molds of our head there. We went and got some <laughs> uh, plaster well, and put like plaster on our heads and then cut it off and then poured other plaster into it. I think there's some silicone or something we've made oh my gosh. heads out of. And we're gonna make monster masks. <laughs> okay, what'd you just say? I said, we're American pickers. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we'll put our show on the road. We love that show. Okay, I think we are. it's going. This is where we're staying. That looks nice, right? Yeah. This is a big vacay. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah. You got my GoPro bag, laptop bag, clothes bag. I bring a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna edit that out. Okay. 
Here we are, our home for the evening. Da -da -da. Let's see what it looks like. How much was this? Uh, two seventy nine. Two seventy nine. Let's see. Sweet. Yes, a sweet. All right, guys, come on in. Let me show you around. Ooh, nice tub right here. Wood, lots of wood accents. Look at this. This is lovely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, honey, this is awesome. I am so using this. This is uh, like one of the nicer decorated hotel rooms that we've seen. Look, it has a rubber ducky. That's so cute. It's pretty neat. Nice what marble. How much was this again? Two forty nine. Two seventy nine. Two seventy nine. That's a good deal. I got a hundred dollars off because I called. But look, look at this. Has a bidet. Marble. Marble everywhere. Do you see the bidet? Bidet. Uh oh. I've never actually used one of these. Check this out. Huh. A flashlight, huh? It's kind of weird, huh? Oh, just Slippies. Car goes up. And a robe. Huh. This is nice. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Shampoo mounted to the wall. I like it. It's... <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go outside and see. This is what I'm see most excited right. about. There we go. What do you hear? Oh my gosh, I can't. Really can't see anything out here, but oh, the ocean's right out there, guys. Oh, yeah, can't kind see. Of a bummer that we got here so late. Oh yeah, we'll have to take a look at this in the morning. Okay, I switched to the phone. We can see a little better, but basically the, the ocean is right down there. You can definitely hear it. It's very pretty. The stars. Look at the stars up here. You can't really see how pretty they are. I did good, huh? This is great. Got a good value. All right, good morning, Locker Nuts. Check this out. Ooh. Look at how beautiful this is. This is actually really, uh, really stunning. So this is uh, this is Pismo Beach that we're staying in, and uh, I was just here last year for Griffin's bachelor party. You can see if well, I don't know how you're picking it up on the camera, but all out there is sand dunes, and out on the sand dunes uh, you can rent ATVs and go riding, and that's what we did last year. It, incredibly dangerous and incredibly fun, but uh, yeah, I haven't been here for a long time other than that, and it's so beautiful here. All right, guys, we are out of the hotel and about to go into an estate sale here in Pismo Beach. Very nice neighborhood. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Okay. Good. Back in here. Yeah. Are you gonna play? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'll play it. We'll see how it goes. I didn't really play it. So you have to push it hard. I I don't know um, rocks, I don't know rocks or stones or anything. Okay, gonna wash your socks. Yeah, put there's a lot of moose stuff here. Are you a member? Oh, yes. And there's a lot of moose stuff that... That's like not somebody... Charles' celebration. This is like moose cub tokens, like get a free drink or something. But they're probably defunct. I mean, you probably couldn't get a free drink. I think when I added it up, that I'd have to do it again, Carol. You can sit and do $18. We've got $3, $6, uh, $9. We've got $10. we got $10. So I thought it was $19 something. Um, you can... Um, we will ask. Yeah. I'm not sure. Did you want to check my hair? Should I, I can. Just, uh, it's easier. $55. I'll pay more than that. I wanted to talk to you first. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm sorry. so sorry. Okay. Are these men are small? Uh, looks like any of these here you can have for 
these little ones, three each. Three. Um, and what about? And we might have duplicates, but I. Um, this one. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Uh, we sold the accordion. I know. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Little turquoise. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like well, I, <laughs> I like the turtle. Five. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Look at that. It's made. Oh, what are those coveralls? They're uh, like lab. Um. We're, we'll pick the before you take off. Of course. Anyway, Three more than belt buckles. Is that okay? Which ones did you like? There, I, it would take me six months to price all this stuff. Oh, don't worry. The tags would have been yeah. tangled up and for all sure. kinds of things. This one here, you can have for ten. Uh, four dollars. Just gotta help oh, okay. remember these prices because I can't. Yeah. 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 Were you interested in this one? Yeah, I like this one. This one's so cute. I'm wondering how. And you can have this one for eight. So if you can just remember those. Yeah, I got them all. I wasn't listening. I was... And then I have some pins in here that were yeah. dollars each. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's just on. Yeah, it's 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 on. That's pretty cool for gumballs. It's a little, little hard condition there. It's too bad. It's nice. Okay, what'd you find? Oh, these are commemorative coins. These are from 1979. Those are kind of cool. Huh. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Okay, because this, this was my first stock. Oh, yeah, so that's what I'm like. Uh, old bags. Okay, we'll have all your stuff in a bag. So, do you want the star? I'm not sure these are here. <laughs> Oh, the little Tiffy bags? Yeah. Man, I wish I would have been here when he's selling all his Tiffany. Oh, yeah? Tiffany sold. Yes, he did. That's the owner right there. Ah. Two each. Okay. 
These are older, definitely. I know. We do have some Tiffany cream soups. If you have Tiffany right there, those are Tiffany. Oh, wow. oh really? This? Yeah. Yes, I need the cream soups. But yeah, I saw those in like. Wow. Thank you. That is cool. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. That's cool. Right? I'll swing I'll swing by. It'll be an easy fix. But I did need you. You can see that I needed you, right? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, I think we should get that. Yeah. Got one more thing. Oh, okay, one good. Clock. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Oh, it's a nine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Eight. yeah. Right, right on. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. All right. Good luck this weekend. That was a nice little estate sale. I found a few goodies, but check out the view from where we're parked. Whoa, so pretty. All right, we are at breakfast at Penny's. And look who we met up with. My cousin Joey and his wife Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, thanks you guys for meeting us for breakfast. Thank you. Thanks, this yeah, is amazing. Yeah, great. I haven't seen you guys in forever. Forever. For yeah. what, ever? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Probably like 14 time. years. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because of Facebook, I feel like I see it. Yeah. Yeah. I think Brooke was like, what? Thank God for social media. Six months? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do we got to eat here? We have Biscuits yeah. and grease, or chicken. Chicken fries. Chicken fries. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't tried it yet, so. Waffles, strawberry. And this is a pineapple omelet. We've got ham and pineapple on Swiss. A Hawaiian omelet. I know we're gonna get comments on that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. All right, we're gonna dig in. This guy at the surfboards, right there's got a goat in the back of this car. Apparently he's world famous. He surfs with them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is so cool. What's up, buddy? Nice. How you doing? Good. 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 Yeah. Yes. Oh. Enjoy. Thank you. See ya. Uh, we had a great breakfast over there with my cousin Joey and his wife Michelle, and really it was one of the highlights of our entire trip. So nice to get caught up and talk about stuff. One of the things that we talked about was something that was local for them, and that was uh, the disappearance of a gal named Kristen Smart. Maybe some of you have heard about that. It happened back in 1996, so that was like four or five years after I left Cal Poly, and it was an unsolved mystery. She disappeared. She was going to college there. Actually, it was her first year. I think she was... 19 years old. It was her first year going to school and she disappeared one night after a party. Her body is never found. Neither was her killer up until years later, in large part because of a podcast. So Kristen had last been seen after a party on Memorial Day weekend when she was seen passed out on a lawn. A few students walked her back to her apartment, I think in the dorms, including one named Paul Flores. But that's the last time they ever saw her. Uh, she was never found again. She was legally pronounced dead in 2002. Flash forward to 2019. A podcaster named Chris Lambert starts a podcast called Your Own Backyard. It chronicles the case, everything that they knew. They interviewed people and he became a big hit. I mean, the podcast became a big hit. Millions of followers, including Jana and Camille. Surprisingly, Camille got drawn into this, they listened to the podcast, and it raised public awareness and public interest in this to the point where the police reopened the case and took another look at it, and also new evidence came forward. That evidence was critical in eventually making an arrest of Flores in 2021, and then last month, March of 2023, he was convicted of murder and was sentenced 25 years to life. So her body's never been found, but there is speculation, especially amongst the locals there, that her body is resting underneath a driveway or a concrete patio in a home that her mother owns, not far from where we're having breakfast, next town over. 
So Jan and I decided to go over and take a look at it. But a little backstory here. For a while, this property was rented out and the gal who was renting it started receiving mail from people intended for the mother and saying things like, please come forward to the police. Please encourage your son to cooperate with the police. So, and she didn't even know about this case until she received the mail. She started looking into it, um, but she started paying attention to some stuff. One thing uh, that was interesting is she found an earring in, in the driveway or near the driveway that uh, belo seemed to belong to Kristen Smart. It matched a necklace that she was wearing in one of the wanted ads. She gave that to the police and was hoping that would be helpful, uh, but the police lost it. So it was never brought in as evidence because the police, they don't know what happened to it. It's a little suspicious. There was a lot of missteps by the police back then, as well as campus security. And it's one thing that the locals talk about. And I don't know if it was really into the mainstream or on the podcast, but the mother apparently at one point or at, during this disappearance was having an affair with the or was romantically involved with the police chief. Very suspicious, right? Very suspicious. But luckily, uh, flash forward when this podcast came out, the new police chief reopened the case and uh, eventually, thankfully, uh, got to the bottom of it, apparently, because they arrested him for murder. And now he's serving time. But probably one of the most disturbing things, the accounts that this gal who was running the place was telling the podcaster years later is that she would be awakened every morning, very early in the morning to a beeping, like the kind from a digital watch. And she would go out and search the yard for what's causing this and she could never find it. She did determine that she thinks it was underground and she would even dig, but most of the yard was covered with uh, concrete. There's only a few planting areas that were open. She dig in there, could never find it. So that was never discovered what the source was after several months the beeping stopped they think because the battery ran out uh Kristen's mother did say that Kristen owned a watch like that with an alarm because she her job was a lifeguard she needed to be at the pool at 5 a.m so she relied on that to wake her up early enough to get to the pool on time so it is believed uh by many especially locals that her final burying place might be below concrete either the driveway or patio or something on that property um, but the property has never changed hands and they've never given the police permission to do a dig there. So uh, for now, that remains unsolved. But Jan and I wanted to go by and take a look at this property. And so that's what you're about to see. Kind of interesting. There's the white van. So the renter no longer lives there. The mother moved back into the property right about when I think the police started becoming re-interested in the property. She wanted to make sure nobody had access to it, I think. But my cousin said that she has been known to go out and yell at people who take photos outside. So I was kind of prepared for any action like that, but it did not happen. Kind of creepy. It's such a cute little house, neat area. It's on a busy street, but um, in that white van, uh, I think they had searched it or something and they suspected something. Cadaver dogs had gotten a hit on that property before, but only from like the neighbor's house. So um, they were never allowed on and I don't think they ever got a warrant to go actually on the property. All right, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a little morbid. Yes, it is. But it is relevant to our family just because Jana and Camille really were invested in this story as it developed. They're following the podcast all along. And then the arrest and some of the live broadcasts from the property. And when they're digging up the father's house and finding the, um, I forget what they call it, biological evidence or whatever that led to the arrest. They were part of that story. It became really interesting to actually to visit one of the sites there and uh, maybe even her final resting place. It just was, it was a lot of interest to us. So uh, we wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe you learned something or maybe you think that's interesting too. I don't know. But also what's interesting about the story to me is the fact that this podcaster was instrumental in leading to the arrest and in just bringing the interest back onto the case, which led to the arrest. Um, and that's, I think that's really cool because I'm sort of involved in this similar thing. Of course, I don't, solve murders or anything but just the fact that we utilize this technology to share stories with the world of course with me it's just digging for treasure and storage lockers but in this guy's case it was doing something very noble and that's maybe bringing a little bit of closure for the family and a little bit more um I don't know, awareness and delivering justice really is what it's about. And this guy did it through a podcast. So I think it's really cool and something that we really couldn't do back when she disappeared, right? The technology wasn't there. All right, guys, back on to our adventure in Santa, Santa Barbara. We got a lot more interesting stuff along the way. This was just part of it. Back to the story. Look at that. There's the sideways in, a little tie into the movie. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus, bad boy. We should do that. Ostrich and emo, you can see it. 
feed them. Cool. That is we just grabbed a couple snacks, date and, and pistachio. What's that? Pistachio and coconut. coconut. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Excellent. We're gonna go in this little uh, antique. It says antiques, but then it's clock and watch repair. Look at that. Neat. This. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Look at this. Twelve thousand for this cathedral skeleton clock. Wow, that is amazing. I think this one's really good. Nice. We get different models all the time. Yeah. So we always have a selection of Cartiers and because we deal with vintage, it's the selection's yeah. always new and different. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, those, those ones are way too big, too fat. It's circa 1900. Okay. It's a Tiffany 15 inch trumpet face. Is it Jade? Marked LC. Card Jade, right here. Mm -hmm. Wow. And look at that face. This makes me want to keep some of the better stuff we find. Yeah, look at this. Display it in our house like this. And then look See at this I glass here. Ooh. That is so pretty. Wow. This Tiffany, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at the turquoise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cabochon, this, right here, that pendant right there. It's so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I've ever seen. This is incredible. The store's like this. Good, thanks. Look at these cameos. Isn't that it's stunning? Look at this piece right It's all jade. You uh, carved jade? Oh, that jade. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, this one right here. Look uh -huh. at that. Mm. But look at the necklace. I wonder what that is. The, that necklace that it drapes down, is that like a moonstone? What is that? Those are moonstones. Wow. 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 That's wow. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's Edwardian. It's, so it's from the early 1900s, right around 1910, 1915. I love the student necklaces in general. They've been around since the 1700s. So because of that, every style, every era has its own different iteration like of a the festoon. Version. Yeah. A version, yeah. Oh. So you can see um, the different design changes. Like we've, uh, we have an Art Nouveau festoon necklace right now that has a Baroque pearl oh. um, and sapphire spacers, but it's kind of like interwoven, like the, the the setting is in a like very art nouveau kind of flowing. Out. This is just um, so stunning. And this one is done really, really beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, and and the it, stones are gorgeous. And they, I mean, to have matched these. That's what I was just yeah. going to say. Like, I'm looking at the stones yeah. and they're that's, so symmetrical. That's like. not an easy feat in, in any type of stone, especially one so large, because if the colors were off, the stones are giant. You would see the discoloration difference immediately. Mm -hmm. How much is it just out here? This I'm one is. Curious. This one's 9,400. 9,400. Wow, that's mm -hmm. gorgeous. But that's I so love horrible. the slightly. Yeah. These and are then oval, the one at the and end. And then the one that tapers yeah. is just beautiful. Unbelievable piece. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is an amazing store, really. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
Do you see this one? Oh, oh my goodness, yes. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Is that the one? This is where our other student necklace is. Oh my goodness. This is also my favorite. And you can see it's it's smaller, oh, but yeah. this kind of, you know, like interwoven setting, very indicative of the Art Nouveau period with like natural forms, S shapes. Um, and then the Baroque pearls as well, you know, they're not completely symmetrical. They're more it. natural, um, kind of, you can see where they formed in nature. Yeah. Very, very indicative of the Nouveau period. It's so gold. Is it like a high concentrate of gold? No, no? I think it's just 14, wow. but you see differences in older jewelry. So today, you know, what is 14 or what is 18 is very standardized. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of the same alloy mixtures are used to get 14 karat today. So that 14 karat looks kind of, has a continuity throughout the market, throughout the industry, but there was a lot more individual techniques in early goldsmithing where maybe one goldsmith would decide to put more copper or more nickel. And so oh. you might get a different, slightly different hue than what you're yeah. expecting. Some when, more variation. Yeah, like sometimes you see uh, a lot of early, early 14 karat gold, just like, be a like hint rosier than we might be typical um, of seeing, or early rose gold, like yeah. Victorian era rose gold. This is a lot I have paler. Seen that when we find rose gold yeah. sometimes, and it's all we're like, is this even real? Because yeah. it's so different. It's in just the shape. yeah, it looks different. Like yeah. today, it's that? just funny because I just bought a little clock like this. I know that is true, but no. these bells are neat. Yep, there's something for every collector in here. Oh my goodness, and the clock behind you is unbelievable. Donna, oh. that's everywhere I turn. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. So we'll definitely feature you because he's a YouTuber. So yeah. put it your guys' yeah. shop in his YouTube video. Do you document your. Um, your storage locker yeah. company? Is that what you're using? Yeah. How oh, cool. Yeah. What's it's, your handle? It's called Locker Nuts. All right, Janet just got some new shades. Happy Coach, birthday. Coach, happy birthday again. <laughs> the birthday that keeps on giving, apparently. Janet want to go in the sunglass store. I want to go in the beef jerky store. Sounds good. Free Sam. Sounds fair. Yep, yeah. I know how to Thank you. I love new stuff. Ooh, fire. Let me try the mango habanero. Mango habanero, absolutely. So this is dehydrated with real and fresh mangoes on it, so it's gonna have a nice sweet freshness to it. And then it's gonna have that nice sour citrus in the middle, and then the habanero heat's gonna kick in. Can we try the orange mm -hmm. Wow, absolutely. So this one is gonna have that nice jalapeno kick on the back of the throat. On the front, you're gonna get that fresh flavor of the jalapeno. You like that? This is so cute. Oh, the ants. Ants are cute. Look at how pretty these all are. And that's that butter. It's scotch amber. It's like they're really light. Look at the rings, honey. Wow. Oh my goodness, those are crazy. Uh, uh, down. Down here. The bottom one. The big ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is mm -hmm. really large.
right guys we're here in santa barbara and this is right outside our hotel room we got the nice really nice tennis courts look at the hills back there look at this hilton hotel that we're staying at oh we're in the azalea building check it out let me show you the room welcome <laughs> look at this pretty nice not as nice as the last room but this is nicer look at this our bed faces the ocean wow. the pacific ocean Look at that. That's a million dollar view right there. Boardwalk right there? Pier? Pier. Huh, maybe we'll walk down there at some we're point. Definitely gonna go for a walk. Oh man, look at yeah, we're gonna be walking around along here. Sheesh. It's kinda great we got this end cut, huh? Because we just go over. Yeah. And we got our own patio to sit out. Wow. It's beautiful. Put the computer here, I'll be editing tonight. Let's check out the uh, toilet. We can lay for bed and see the Not quite like the last room. The last room, really nice, but this is definitely not rough in it. Actually, this it's just clean. This all oh, looks brand new. What the heck? Looks new. But the last one had marble and the tub and everything, but this is cool. Super cool. I think this is great. Yeah. Okay, we're going for a little walk here today. And it is really nice. It's actually a little warm. I'm a little warm. It's nice. We're used to cold weather. But we're right on the ocean here. Sun. Sun feels great. And uh, ironically, there's an event that starts in just like half an hour up here. Mm -hmm. And what is it? It's a fundraiser. For the Junior League. It's a fundraiser and it's a rummage sale. For new rummage and sale. used items. We're hitting it. Preview night. We paid 25 bucks a person to get an early bird tonight. Uh, so that's in advance of the big sale tomorrow. So Always working. We're going to spend 50 bucks and see if we can find something good. Dad, I'm said, are you and Dad doing fun stuff? I said, we're going to estate sales, rummage sales. She goes, but that's what you shops. do here. That's what we like to do. I said, it's fun for us. Apparently, it's right up the road from our hotel and it's out here somewhere. So the place isn't on the ocean. We read the map wrong. It's I not on. Cam she did. It's not on Cabrillo. It's on Carrillo. Just Got a mile further. Give or take a B. Yeah. So instead of half a mile, it's going to be like two or three miles. So we'll get there. Look at this place. Look at this door. Fifty percent off. Pit stop, get some ice cream. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah.
Oh, take yeah, of course, that's fair. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me. I have a lot more, so I'm going to keep Was there licking one? unless I want to put this okay. all here. That's fine. She'll keep an eye on it. Great, thank you. I'll watch it for you. You can add it up too. Oh, there was. Oh, well, alligator. Little born right there. Yeah. Do you think this is something special? I couldn't tell. That's a marking underneath, and I think it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. How pretty that is. People just stop. Look at that stuff. That's yeah. Neat. Why they, no, no, no. Ooh, that's sharp. That's I don't know why they just didn't throw it away. This is kind of cool. Cool, huh? Yeah, it's stone. Two, Two bucks. bucks, okay. Susan, Mark will have your stuff um, ready when you pull up your go. And the receipt sent to your email. Thank that's you fine. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we uh, got some little goodies at that place. That was fun. I liked it. It's a little crowded for my taste but <laughs> I'm used to going through a storage locker by myself I love uh, the mad rush I don't but uh, we just walked down the, around the corner and look what we found we, we're at the mission third mission of the weekend this is mission Santa Barbara yeah, yeah. so it's kind of funny because we've been here a long time ago with the three older kids and Jana was just saying that faith her brothers were bugging her and she was sitting on the bench over there pouting she was like this we have a photo of her she's <laughs> which is not normal for her she's no. usually a happy kid but she's she got brothers pink, so pink velour suit, I <laughs> anything was gonna ruin her day was her brothers <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good trip though we had a really good time right on the edge though right by number two i'm looking Look at this, we've got some kind of uh, trapeze practice field here or something. Yeah, they have it all, like three different ones. Huh. This guy's He's backing into the, the truck. Arm. The guy's like, beep, beep at him. He uh, lost track where he's at, I guess. He thought this was a spot and he almost backed right in this white truck. I think he's trying to get into this spot. I just thought that. He misjudged that by a whole car. He shouldn't be driving. Come on, man. Back into something so we can have a viral video. Come on. All right, it's time for dinner. All right. All right, done with dinner. We forgot to video what we ate. There's that great iced tea. But it was really good and it was super cheap. It was like the cheapest thing we've had here and it was $38. 38 bucks and it's right on this busy road. It's like a prime real estate spot, but it was good. It was super good. Going back to the hotel. All right, guys, we're back in the hotel and Jana wants to show you guys the hall from the event tonight. This is all the stuff that we got right here. Uh, we spent a total of 202 at that charity event. Well, plus $50 for admission. Oh, that's true, honey. So we paid $252. A couple sports hats. The t-shirts are both size large. I think I might keep them. We'll see. This is a coach luggage tag, a coach bag. Great shape. This uh, is made in where? Germany. Germany. Nice little bowl right there. This little pottery. Love this. Marked. 
That's cool. These are carved marble, marble bears. That's one of Jim's favorite. This right here, this thing, I don't know what this is. I love it. It's beautiful. This is another, it looks like stone. stone, right? Oh yeah, it's absolutely stone. This piece is carved stone. Vintage ashtray. Made in occupied Japan. Oh, that's good. This is a hundred dollars right here. This Tiffany and Company silver. pearl silver bracelet, right? This was one hundred of the two hundred and two we spent. Couple earrings here. This pottery is awesome. More pottery. It's so beautiful. Nice pieces here. It's a stone ashtray. Carved it. stone. Carved stone elephant. This. It's jade. She thinks this is jade. It is definitely cold to the touch. I'll have to check for a gold. Um, but because uh, I don't have a loop here. And the last piece right here, I love it. this is one of Jana's favorites, it's the Fenton, mm -hmm. is that so right? Beautiful. Fenton? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys, so that kind of stuff we will put into our auction, right? Mm -hmm. Probably our whatnot auction, but you never know. Show up for both our YouTube auctions on Mondays and our whatnot auctions on Thursdays, and you'll see this stuff coming up. Good morning Locker Nuts, it's Saturday morning, and guess what we're doing? Garage sale! <laughs> Garage sale. We're trying to find a garage sale here in Santa Barbara. It's a beautiful neighborhood here. Yeah. Up in the hills a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Some of this was handmade and some of it was purchased. I couldn't tell you which. these pens are. Very cool. Yeah, cute watches. Oh. Disney watch. Oh, what is it? I can't see. Rosary. Oh, no, something else. <laughs> is that a rosary? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So how much for the rosary? Yeah, I did you too. It was $6 for two dollars oh, right there. Is it? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> You're like, don't stress me out, man. <gasps> what am I going to do? <laughs> don't want the sister <laughs> to get mad. <laughs> She told me, if you sit here, it's easy. She just placed you down, man. <laughs> She's just like, you are in charge of that story. Thank you. You like that? Yeah, that's pretty. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. She's Morning. responsible for the table. Yeah, he's just helping. Nice this is so, I love uh, how you sit at a table. We were thinking 10. That's so cute. Is that okay. a rosary? Oh, yeah. We'll do those, too. Any other ones, yeah? Cool. This one's really pretty. Are there any more rosaries that you have? I, yeah, I had three. Oh, I had two. I got or two. Okay, one okay. yeah. Oh, two. Oh, okay. Mom and Dad got those in Rome. Yeah, imported from Rome. Thank you. This one's kind of cute. With the little butterfly and the man. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah, that has matching earrings, too. <laughs> I think she got that in Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you know. a little memory lane when you yeah, get things. Yeah, well, she passed away, oh, I'm so sorry. We're, mm. she had a lot of jewelry. What? I took some. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. It's always good to remember, have some. Yeah. 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 yeah she, Is this the bag we can put? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Start now. There's else? a penguin. <laughs> Thank you. That's actually lapis. It is lapis. Oh. Yeah. I made that. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, I make jewelry, but I just have fun like making it, and then I have too much. <laughs> yeah, very nice. You want to add that up? Yeah. What we got so far? She's looking okay. over there, but. All right. Let's see. Fifteen, fifteen, seventeen. And five is thirty-eight. Right now. Oh, add four fifty. Oh, um. Four Let her finish start counting first. What was I at? Thirty ah, sorry. three. Plus, I wasn't paying attention. We'll just say two for thirty-five for the jewelry. Okay. The jewelry's here though. Do that stuff over there. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Still over here. Okay. Thirty-five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. What is that? Little cat? No, owl. Owl carved into it. Okay. Love this. Fifty cents. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's a little pottery here. Huh? Two bags each. Nice. The black container looks kind of cool. This is kind of not bad, but what do you think? Is that is neat. They traveled alone and stuff. This plastic. It just needs to be cleaned. I think this is something kind um, of nice. That looks like crystal. Oh, it's chipped right here though. This oh, is geez. a. Yeah. Yeah, that's chipped off. Let's do that. 
Because I was like, uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. yeah. And look at that. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about This is definitely hand balloon. That's yeah, where you That's why I thought that might be expensive too. Five bucks. I was like, that's pretty cool. So shipping is tough. It's fine. I don't worry about it. It's and nice though. These right here, it's like Japanese. Um, this and the matching plate. Oh, that's pretty. It's porcelain from Japan. I think we should do that. Those are matching, right? Yes. This is Japan. These are vintage. Yeah, they are. Really those are cool. cool. Those are really cool. I, I, I those too. Oh, we should pick those up. Those are really neat. I don't know what it is about it. I love the size and they're total 60s. For a dollar, there's all these magnets, but look at that glass one. There's some yeah. cool pieces of glass. Oh, yeah, how much for that? I don't know. It's and got a little these for about dirt smudge right there. I feel like wood and those look of interest to you. Are they magnets or what? I'm not sure, but they're like little fabric. This is all magnets for that. There's a couple of wooden pigs in there. That's what I was wondering if you got those on. Because some of the stuff's yeah, over. Pick it up for a buck. Go through it later. Okay. I like these types of boxes. Yeah. It's fun. It's a nesting doll right there. Oh, this one? Isn't it? A little penguin nesting doll? This is cool. Look at these penguins. They're what in the penguins, huh? It's kind of interesting, huh? Yeah. There's a crabby right here. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's kind of a neat piece right here. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, it is newer. Sweet. <laughs> I can add it as we go. Five. Perfect. Seven fifty. Uh, three is that perfect. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Ten fifty. And eleven fifty. And then I don't know. Oh, twelve fifty. And then how much? <laughs> Okay. So how much is it? Thirteen fifty. Okay. You can keep the fifty cents. Just give us, <laughs> just say fourteen is fine. So here is one and is this stuff on five. All right. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cute for my granddaughter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I got these uh, bins in the van and I just add the stuff to it. We'll probably just put that in our garage, wait till the video airs and auction all the stuff off. Great prices. Yeah, on good stuff. I was excited. De decent stuff too. Yeah. Their signs are so cute here. Oh, not too much here. Look, Mira. A marble. <laughs> I found one. I found one. Remember the Legos? <laughs> this is cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. How much for this bag? That's 20. And you see, you read, it's a great bag. Yeah. And okay. anti theft. And the pajamas, the silk pajamas are fine. Let me see. Okay, great. Thank you. What is this? Up to the next one. Oh, okay. What was this? Uh, anti-theft bag, she said. Uh -huh. It's anti-theft, but it's all, if you read about it, it's, it's um... Here's all the information. Anti-theft. So it's like when you're traveling, you know, it's just really great to have. Hmm. Reduce ocean plastic. So they you clip um, on your belt recycled materials. How much you want for that? That's 15. It's neat. It's got a bloom on it. This is five. <laughs> okay, next garage sale. Look at this. Up in the hills again. Keep finding these ones up in the hills. Yeah. Oh, there's a moving sale. They got pods out. That's... Oh, yeah, they're moving. Oh, look at this house. Wow. That's so cute. <laughs> nice. 
all, almost all the kids that have come have grabbed some. Is oh, that right? Really? Yeah. 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 Like, oh, good, I get to get something. I love it. This is beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah, what did you think about that one? Just a little kitty. It's pretty. See how much that is? But I'm gonna pay a couple bucks in here. Yeah, I don't know. No, that cheap. Yeah. Yeah, we were really busy up until about five minutes ago. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, a hmm. lot of people, yeah. Thank you. I know, you did. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do they? Yeah, I like just wanted to see this. That's neat. Yeah. That's cool. Mom, do I get It's the porcelain collection. Hmm. That's very unusual. Look at that. The certificate and the original box and everything. Dang. I've seen four before. Oh, do you have the porcelain ones? Oh, yeah. I said one more one. 85? Oh, it's 85 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess next stop is an actual flea market here mm -hmm. just at a high school and it's kind of like a rich rich area so but it doesn't look very crowded so <laughs> we're gonna be interesting to see what we find here today could be how much your Disney watch do you? Uh, the Disney watches are depending on which ones those are, uh, $3. So you say books? Huh? Uh, this right here is $8. How much $3? Yeah, yeah, yeah Disney. Oh, oh he's there, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. It's original, it's got the original thing on it. Yeah, I, I have my husband yeah. going to get some right now. <laughs> Good dad. Hmm. Yeah, those are great little gifts. Um, it's a, it's yeah, they're collector's items. They actually doubled the money since I've had them. Would you do uh, uh, two for five if we bought a few? Yeah. Okay. This one's cool. Yeah. For the two smaller ones, I'll do the two for five. The bigger ones, like these ones. Yeah. I need to charge five dollars. Oh, okay. That's yeah. good enough. Thank you. I like this one. This one. This one? Yeah, for five bucks. And then two dollars. Um, so that is two, two at five, ten, fifteen. Hi, we're good, thank you. This one's Genesis. I'll get you another one. So what do we got? How many small ones? Are there three? Four. The four. Here you go, sir. Okay. Thank you. This is so cool. What is that? Oh, these are like the um, little, um, angels? Like so cool. angels, yeah. Do you sell this? Is this a market? Do they have this market a lot? I've never uh, been, never yeah, been here. Yeah, they, they have it every Saturday. But oh, I, wow. this is my first time here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. No way. Okay. You know, yeah, that one. And... Oh, I'm going to How much for this? Okay, I'm going to put it in it with this. Yeah, that was $5. You didn't mention the cards? No. Where's there a... Uh, what? Uh, what? Yeah. How much for the, the cards? Uh, you know what? 50 so $2. 2 bucks for all? Yeah. yeah. So, what is the So, would you do um, 40 for that? I put some more of those little jewels in and then he had 4 more dollars. It was 30. Let me see. No, it's these. Um... Oh, shit. Can you give me 40? Yep. Yeah, I love me. You have a 10. There you go. Thank you. Okay, baby, hold back. Okay. Ready? Yep. Are these your marbles? Uh, yeah. How do you sell them? Just like by the bag? Or uh, it's usually like a dollar marble, but if you find a oh. nice handful, I'll make you a deal. They're, they're all from the 1930s, 1950s. 30 and 50s? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, how much uh, for uh, all these? For all those? 20 bucks. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you've got a thing unless you check it back. Right on. I'll give you guys the box too. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's a cool box. Yeah, thank you. Maybe I could ask them if I can make another big bag for 20. Is that if, okay? you, if you want to. I do. Yo, I just looked over your shoulder and I kind of figured that out already. So my philosophy is going to be pretty ones. If they, they, look, ones if they look pretty, I was going to say, if they look pretty, they're worth money. That's my philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how it works. That's for the Harry Potter They're all five bucks, dude. Five bucks? Yeah. I was shocked I looked these ones up, though. Did you already pay him the 20? No. Do you got change? Uh, it's for the other 20. When you go to San Luis, I heard you say you're going to San Luis, is that the driver? Yeah, I'm going to Napomo tomorrow though. Okay. I don't, I don't know, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to Napomo. I always did good at Napomo. But I, I right? do one or the other. Okay. That's nice to have that. Because when I went to school there in um, early 90s, yeah. they, I mean, I, I sold out there a couple times. Oh, did you? Yeah, really but nice. I didn't know if they still had it. So. Yeah, they still do it, dude. That's super cool. And I like it because it starts at 5 and it's over at like 10, 30, 11. Oh, really? Okay. So, so it's like, it's quick, fast, and I do as much business like there that, as I yeah. do everywhere else. So it's like, right. if I want a half day, I go to Supply San Luis. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. Well, good luck. Thank okay, you. Yeah, and I'm going to head. How much is this? Just ask him about that. Little pins here. That's pretty too. Look at it. Hmm. It's Chinese, I think. It's Tory Burch. Yeah, that's a special sign that he made it. Uh huh. 
Okay. You come in? One house in Montecito. It came from where? One house in Montecito. Oh, Montecito. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Three I'm pretty sure they paid like 50 or something like that. Probably, yeah. yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Thank you. See anything else? Taste, so I have a good eye. <laughs> yeah, you put it in here if you want. I do. I love it. It's like hand blown. Look at this shell right here. Yeah, it's like a crab almost. That is very different. Huh. All these people are like estate people. This is neat too. Yeah, all this stuff in here is cool. I wonder if that's Arthur Court right there. Mm, I don't know. Look how cute this is. It's staying hard. Super cool. One of those houses. Oh, yeah. But, oh, this yeah, is pretty. Kind of nice. Is this a letter opener? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty. You know the pearl? Mm -hmm. This is neat, too. Yeah, that's so cute. A little price? The bed. For what? To make holes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. For leather work? Punch and leather, probably. Yeah, that's neat. These are really pretty with the pattern. Oh, yeah, that's why I keep them. Yeah. It's like yeah, Egyptian like How much for this letter on there? Give me another two dollars. Three dollars? Is that okay? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. I like the handle. Alright. I think that lady that we got this stuff, I think they had just packed up. I think they just walked in and like... Oh, I think they didn't pay for the Yeah, I think it's like bootleg. They're Hi. like, we'll just drop our stuff here and take as much as we can. And when they kick us out, we're done. They look heck of nervous. Yeah. I would almost take them out of the cases. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. Well, I don't want to go around telling people that because you know what they're going to think? And they're going to think, I'm telling that person that. I'm telling this person that because I'm, I want her to know that she's being watched. And that's just insulting her. I, I'm not watching just you. I'm watching everybody. You know, my first shoplifter was an 85-year-old woman. I mean, she was a senior citizen with her husband. Did that know? She left the pearl here. Um, oh, you saw the stones. Oh, that's like, I like, like, I don't know, like. I mean, th these. This is all glass. This is not plastic. That's all glass. Vintage glass, as a matter of fact. And this is the gold filled, which means it's mostly silver. And the stones are real. Those They're real. Are really and I'm not sure. How about, I'll do everything for 20. Oh, actually, that is. That is. Uh, I'll do everything for 20 if you want. That's the best I can do. Okay. What are those stones? I'm not sure. I um, I haven't had a chat. They appear to be quartz, so I'm going to guess that these were on their way to becoming citrine. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, and one in particular stands out from the rest. This one here. Right? Yeah, that is pretty. They, they heat the stones before they cut them. Yeah. Not after. Oh, mm. And what about this? What is this? Um, just a I, little pen. It's a, it's a little pen. So I believe I believe I tested that at one point in time. It's been a long time. I believe it came out as, as it was silver, but what grade of silver? I can't promise you. All I can say it would be a uh, 800 grade or better. Do you know what that is? Or mm -hmm. you yeah. know what 800 is? Okay. Yeah. 800 silver or better. Okay. Uh, which means it was most likely European. It was most likely a European piece. Only that. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Um, how about seven? Okay, I'll do it this time. This time. But next time. <laughs> next time, no. You should, you should have gotten these, though. These are absolutely gorgeous. Can I see those? Yeah, I love these right here. <laughs> and what are they? Uh, I don't remember the name of the stone, but they're genuine stones. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, all, the, the beading and all that, it's all glass. Oh, that's yeah, a matching, matching necklace. I don't think it's too old. Maybe 70s or 80s. And I think it looks, it appears to be maybe pewter. Because, I mean, Peter was up and coming back in the 80s. I remember when it was... Super pretty color. It is, mm -hmm. it is. And the necklace is really nice, too, with it. It was handmade. And you aren't likely to find another one like this. This is very cool, too. Yeah, it's got, it's got a pin and earrings. I do what like it. That? These are 1960s. I don't know what they're made out of. They're 1960s. I think they're costume, but there is a, there is a signature. So, you want to... If it's costume, you want a signature. Uh, maybe Sarah Coventry. I can't... My eyesight just went. I can't make out. I got an eye piece. My eyesight use. is also gone. And what about these? Those are all real. Everything's real. Uh, the, uh, it's gold filled and it's um, 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 all pearls. You got the, uh, I don't know what you call that shape. They're not Baroque. It's called, what, what's this shape called? The, okay. the teardrop pair. Are they, they actually call those pairs? They, they do? Oh, look how pretty those are. Oh, that's Murano. Those, that's, Mur that's Murano glass. I have a lot of check, check, check it for last year's glass. I've got Murano glass. These are Murano glass? Oh my goodness. Uh, these right here are Murano glass. Ooh, I'd like a couple of those. looking for these. 
Um, I don't know. I, I have a few more scattered throughout, but if you can get get all the ones that look like this off this tray, I'd probably do it for like ten bucks. It would cost you that just for like five pieces. It would cost you ten dollars for five pieces. I mean, unless you want them all. No, no, you take them. Too. Okay. I love the Marano glass. Do you? I do too. Hmm. I, I have a too. collection of bases. Oh, that's yeah. Marano, yeah. I love it. I could actually. You really love it. They're so pretty. I taught those guys on uh, on uh, on that show. Uh, uh, what's that? The American Pickers. I taught them about bundling. Well, yeah. They didn't teach me. You're the original yeah. bundler. The other guys Let's over there at Pawn something. Stars, they don't bundle. They don't do jack. <laughs> you do still have the necklace, right? Okay. Make sure. Oh, it's not on beads, yeah. No, it's all different. I believe you. That's right Jewelry making. Uh oh The necklace. Yeah. Is it quartz? It's okay. It's a uh, rose quartz. Uh, there, there's something special about the rose quartz, but I can't remember what he told me was so special about it. You can look at that. I want, I want to get He you. wants a hundred for that, which is a steal. A steal. My lord. For what? I told him. Because this is graded. Uh, uh, it's 14 carat, and the clasp weighs approximately two and a half grams, give or take. And scrap value on that, it's going to give me $36 a gram, which comes out to about 70 plus 15 is $85 in scrap on the on the class. I, I just don't want to take less than scrap value on the class. Those yeah, I can yeah. get me something, and I got them down to like 100. So you, if you want that for 100, he says. No, I, I would give her the same deal I'm giving you. Because she's going to be a regular customer you watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been a regular customer. I've been. He's well, like, have, I heard have, heard but you had your chance. You had your chance. OG. I did, and I, you, they heard me tell you 75. What is in here? What is all Oh, take that? a look. Take, take the trays out. They're all gemstones. Oh, They're all gem there are gemstone beads, glass beads, um, um, vintage glass, Czechoslovakian glass. Um, well, I already oh, am taking there's the, some plastic. You know, just the tray for 10 but then we'll add, you can add all. What well, I wasn't selling the whole tray for 10 I was selling all the oh, Murano just beads. Okay. Just the Murano. Yeah, then what about these? Oh, these aren't Murano. Do you like? Right? No, they're not Murano. Okay. Um, I don't, you know, if she were here, she could take her I'll, I'll take 35. I'll take 35 because I want some water. I'm going to go get some more water because my water turned right. turn 35. Or you can give me 30 and go get me two bottles of cold water, the coldest water. And if it's not as cold, I don't want it. Coach. Nice, nice. But they're a little passe right now. You guys a lot of cool stuff, huh? Totally. Do this thing. You guys should get this. I just wouldn't. Oh, it, 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 but it, it, I wouldn't wear it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. That is gorgeous. I'm not even going to sell for the store or something is. like that. And that's big. And I like the little. Like you like don't see them like that. I see yeah. Them. It's a couple grams at least, right? Yeah. 20. It's very pretty. Uh, 35. All right, guys, back. And oh man, my GoPro cut out, but uh, we wound up buying a lot of stuff from that guy. So we'll show you after, I think. We'll try to show you after, but we wound up buying that entire box of beads as well as second box of beads, plus a couple necklaces and pin that Jenna was looking at and bought a black thing there. I'll show you later. But anyways, we spent like 275 bucks with that guy. He was super happy. We we're super happy. We got his number. He, we might even try to hook up with them tomorrow buy some more stuff i don't know let's see but check this out oh yeah that is beautiful okay off to the wedding off to the wedding that is the reason for the trip after all <laughs> <laughs> even though we've done a lot of other stuff oh my gosh we've been busy bees look at this view here incredible right there's the ocean out there so cool it's the veterans park i mean the walk Look at this on this side too. Oh man. You got hillside. Oh, look at side. out there. Look at the ocean out there. Oh my God. Look at that. Wow. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge. In token of my constant faith. In the Biden. Jennifer, take the ring and place it on. This ring I give to you. In token and pledge of my constant faith to one another in the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in the state of California. <laughs> All right, guys, Sunday morning. Good morning. A little vacation is coming to a wrap. Wedding was a lot of fun last night and uh, a little tired. A lot of walking, a lot of moving and grooving this vac vacation, <laughs> and uh, so it's catching up to us. But we really don't want to go home because what we have ahead of us is a long drive and then preparing for the auction. So it's all work, boo. But it's it, so far it's been great. But we're gonna go get some breakfast and see if there's maybe something else we want to do while we're here in this beautiful area. It's so oh my. Okay, so we're in uh, Montecito. 
Jana said there's a chance we might see some famous people. Could be. I need this side too. Little pedal cars. Oh my gosh. Those are adorable, right? Yeah. How much is it? 210? It's not too bad. Yeah. Metal. 230? Yeah, that's cool. Alright, breakfast, lemon, poppy seed, pancakes. Of course, you know what that is. What's that, Jana? Um, eggs and bacon, blueberry compote, and some sort of Greek. Oh. French toast. What kind though? Uh, just regular. Oh, challah bread. Yeah, yeah, challah bread, French toast. Super fancy and nice. Yeah. Oh! These are literally the best things I've ever had. Mmm. Lovely. Hard to believe that everything we've eaten on this entire trip has been on my diet. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was terrible. Waiting to talk to the manager. <laughs> Best breakfast I've ever had. All right, guys, we're back, and we had a long drive home. There's actually a lot of traffic, so it took longer. I'm a little more tired than probably should be because more hours behind the wheel. And we pretty much did a straight shot. Stop for uh, coffee. Starbucks. That's it. Um, but we're home, and glad to be home. Want to show you guys what we got at the uh, flea market. Unpacked. Yeah, here's the haul. Okay, over here is the stuff that we picked up at the estate sales and garage sale, right? This stuff. Not this. This is a flea market pick. I think the lady, she wanted two bucks for that Genesis. Mm -hmm. It's untested, of course, but uh, all this is from a garage sales, right? Mm -hmm. Garage sale stuff. Jenna picked all these Swarovski crystals, mm -hmm. all brand new in the package. Uh, grabbed these Disney watches, which I, I think is just an unbelievably good deal. Yeah, we got a killer down there. With three bucks on that? That's uh, crazy. Two for, five. two for five. On the smallers. This is my favorite. Spent 40 bucks with those people, right? 40 bucks, including the controller, all that. It charged me 50 cents each on these. These are sealed. Uh -huh. Then she got the marbles from another guy. Uh -huh. This is 40 bucks. Oops. From the 1930s to 50s, he said. These are all, uh, many of them are uranium, he said. So he got this from a whole entire like estate. So this is super cool. I love these. All right, and then um, where was this from? This was from the flea market. He said it was from oh, a high that's right. estate in Montecito. That other guy, yeah. Okay, we got that on film. Three bucks each on that for the glass and for this letter opener here, mother pearl handle. These are beautiful piece. high end estate pieces from like the richest area. And then where these these came from. <clears throat> that came from one of the uh, garage sales or uh, Pismo Beach I mean, one, uh, estate. and then this one too. This is hand blown. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Very cool. Okay, so we got a little mix here at the flea market stuff. Then we'll get into this. Uh, this still again a little bit of the estate stills, garage sales, but all of these beads. Look at all these beads, guys. This is two fairly large boxes. Mm -hmm. Full of beads and jewelry making supplies. Murano glass. These are Murano. I threw that little old die in. These guys, Murano glass. And these are marked. Some of these, Labradite. And they, he said these are pearls. This is um, amethyst. Uh, <laughs> There's mystic a lot of opals gemstones. Are in here. Look at this. Is, these are old and they say $12 each for these. Each? Yeah. Does it say each? Each. And some of them say uh, 10 or $15 each. These are opals right here. Peruvian opals. Oh, my goodness. And these are pearls. Um, he said there was a few pieces. These look like they could be amber. Yeah, there's some amber there. And then there's some other amber right here. Um, in here, there's tiger's eye, Murano glass. Um, he said lots of, like, real oh, stuff. Nice. Japan? No, it has the name of a stone in it. But there's some, and these are older. Yeah, some of the so, pieces like these. Like here, he said everything should be semi-precious. These are some carved pieces in there. Mm -hmm. He said there's some garnet, 
some other things in there. And then there's some, these are some knickknack stuff. And then right here, there's some more pearls. A lot of pearls. Lots of pearls, he said. Another lady was trying to scoop all his pearls, but he thinks she didn't get to this box. There's, what is that? Another pearl? That looks like it. It's really pretty. Oh, and he said there's quite a bit of bone in here too. We haven't come across that. Oh, this. It Glass is so cool. I thought that was beach glass. What do you call it? ocean glass? Beach glass? I, I wasn't what sure. And then, then this is another stone. And then this alabaster piece. I alabaster love. jewelry box right here. Super beautiful. Really nice alabaster. And then this he thought was like a Russian box, a lacquer Russian box. So yeah, that one's cool. And then there's some more beads and kind of metal beads. And I don't know what kind of, there's a whole bunch. This is some really good stu stuff. We've had a lot of luck with this kind of stuff before in our auctions. So there's so, pearls. Freshwater pearls, gold-filled clasp. He didn't say these were freshwater. There's another name he used, and I forget what it was. Uh, okay. This is high-grade rose quartz. Mm -hmm. He said it was very expensive and very vintage. And, and then the clasp is gold. He said 14K. Mm -hmm. so, um, and he said that was tested, I believe. So that is, uh, that's a good find. Silver. He thinks this is silver. Then these are silver. These are real pearls, real pearls, real pearls. I'm going to test this for gold right here, too. Okay. And then, like, <clears throat> this one right here. These are beautiful. It says 70 bucks. Look at these. 70 bucks? Yeah. <clears throat> Gee, this has got to be turquoise if it's 70 bucks. What and the then, heck? <clears throat> so a lot of pearls. He said these are all pearls. And some of them aren't marked, but he named the names, and I can't think of what they all are, but he hmm. said they were mostly all semi-precious. So, and then he said these were two, and then these were all bone. He said he had a lot of bone. Older. Those are cats and little animals. Each of these trays, I think, is... This is bone. Like, a lot of money. And then uh, some other, all different types of pieces. This could be some turquoise, or it could be synthetic turquoise. He said everything was semi-precious, so... These are coming out of estates, I think, that he picks up over in the Santa Barbara area. Look at that coral. It's corals. Mm -hmm. Super cool. All oh, these are really beautiful. More coral. With that. Wow. If you recognize the stone, please let us know. And then look at all the amethysts and some other, other green ones. Okay. This. Those are some Sarah Coventry. I looked them up. Oh, okay. That's nice. But wow, look at that. Amethyst, all that? Or a lot of it? I don't know if the other is like a moonstone or what the others are. Really cool. So we spent $355 total at the flea market. That includes all the beads and jewelry making stuff, stones, all this stuff. Marbles, watches, Swarovski. $355 total. Wait, is that include? There's a couple of the, Well, maybe it's $360 or something. Yep. Good, good score. I'm happy. <laughs> all right, guys. So thanks for coming along with us on our little vacation, which was a uh, wedding trip. But it really didn't feel like a wedding trip. It kind of felt more like a vacation with a wedding <laughs> as part of the lineup of many events and also a uh, uh, Really, like it, it was a work trip it was too. A treasure hunting trip. It was because we found a lot of great stuff, and we did a lot of the stuff that we do here normally as part of our day-to-day -day business. But of course, it does not feel like work. It's if, exciting to go somewhere else and do it. It was exciting. We don't really do that much. We go up to the mountains once a year at a cabin. Sometimes we'll hit uh, antique shops, but we don't really. We haven't taken a trip like this where we completely hunt for treasures it along was really the way. Fun. A lot of fun and it was a very affluent area too so oh, yeah. increases our yeah. odds of finding good stuff which we did all right so anyways thanks for watching guys uh next video will probably be back at hopefully locker digging right now i have no lockers uh but maybe this week we'll pick one up i've been hesitant knowing that this trip was coming up i didn't want to get myself in too deep into a locker or into a workload because i didn't want to stress before leaving now we're back it's time to hit the street running so yeah. all right guys till then Good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here oh, on Lock and Nuts. Okay, let's go. What's in here, Grace? Um, I see you. Okay. Uh, what are they called? Funko Pops. Funko Pops galore, right? Yeah. Look at this. Woo!
X-Men, Avengers, heck yes. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was Nacho Libre. It's Libre. 